I mean, I've, the, the landscapes I've painted here are ones I'd love to be in. Yeah, right. Yeah. And have that, that journey, you know, that starting somewhere and finishing somewhere, but because there are no fixed points in these, everything is sort of looks as though it's transparent and changeable. When, I went to, when I've been to China, yeah. I've been really lucky enough to fly over Siberia in the day, daylight. And it's just unbelievable. And it's this like, you go for four hours on a plane across the same landscape that's just completely uninhabited or huge areas of, and it's just like frozen wastelands. You know, it's just ponds and things, everything's, and I really, really like that idea of wastelands and things being frozen and quite inhospitable in a way. I'd far sooner walk in a landscape that's got frost on the ground than, than one that's lush and And the idea of these sort of call them, little staging points along the way of that journey. So the change of scale helps with this idea of distance, but also the idea of these actually, these shapes, it sounds really crass, came from the idea of gates at one point. Yeah. So gates being barriers between one field or one area and another. So they're, they've become quite abstracted. So they work both as a spatial thing, but also the idea of these little barriers that you go through to access the next space. Which I've never done before. And it's, it's sort of a technical thing. It's not, when, I, when I painted the grounds to paint onto, instead of painting them um, out, like if you look at this painting here, this, this stuff here is the primer that I used, which is, is a thing called gesso ground yeah. that I used on it. And I wanted that to, to show through in the final result. So I didn't want to use it as a ground that you just paint everything over. And that's why I painted them really, really thinly with thin oil paint and let the gray of the original ground show through in bits of the sky, in bits of this, to add to that feeling of something not being tangible and a bit changeable and a bit impermanent and a bit fragile especially quite the idea of watery sunrises and, and frosty mornings yeah. and, and then obviously the moonlit sort of light in that in that middle one. But again the idea, you know, you say well, I'm quite right that when you get back you can see this more of the landscape and yeah. when you light up close and and that wasn't intended but it so it's quite nice really, isn't it? Because as you say, it's that getting through that first layer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, uh, so and it's so there's, a, there's sort of, because of all the trees, these linear marks yeah. that come all the way down. It does look like a barrier, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It is very much an sort of impenetrable barrier if you were out there walking, physically yeah. it would be. But it's quite, because of the gentleness, I suppose, of the colours and everything, it's quite accessible as a painted image. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. 